Feel that? And that's the fastest you could get an aer this airplane to come yep. out of the sky. Well, I mean, safely. Yep. In a light, unpressurized airplane, an emergency descent is most likely going to be used in the event of a cabin fire. It's the fastest way to get the airplane out of the sky safely. It's also on the private pilot ACS. In this video, we're going to start by looking at the skills required, but I'm also going to point out a few of the knowledge and risk items you'll have to know if you're headed toward a checkride. So here we're looking at the ACS, and you can see that there's not much to the skill section. It does say that the examiner can specify the scenario, so you should look over the POH and make sure that you know what to do in the event of an engine fire or a wing fire. But in this video, we're covering what you're likely going to see, and that is a cabin fire. It goes on to say that you have to demonstrate orientation, division of attention, planning, use a bank angle that's 30 to 45 degrees to maintain a positive load factor, and complete the appropriate checklist. And that looks like this. Power to idle, roll into a steep turn. To the left, I will do this one. Uh, okay. Um, Power to idle. Good, roll into a steep turn, and you're gonna look for a sight picture that keep going 45 bank. The, the tighter the bank, the faster you'll go down. More bank, more bank, more bank, more bank, more bank, less pitch. Pit pull back a little bit, but more bank, like uh, sort of corkscrew it up. See your VSI, there it is, good. There's your sight picture, that's it, established, perfect. Notice that as soon as Paul hit 45 degrees of bank and nailed his nose down sight picture to get the airspeed he wanted, the VSI was pegged at 2,000 feet per minute. We were probably doing more. So it's really important that you get the lift out of the vertical, tighten up to 45 degrees of bank, and get the nose down sight picture correct. Now, some people do this maneuver with the flaps down at the top of the white arc, but I can tell you from testing that you're going to get a much faster vertical speed if you do it clean at VNO. If your POH has guidance on this, defer to that. But let's talk about the sight picture for a moment. 90% of your attention should be outside the airplane, and the last thing I want to see you doing is staring at the AI. The best place to see pitch in a turn is here, where the horizon slices through the dash. And if you don't have that reference, that is, you're pitched down so much that the horizon doesn't slice through the dash, then focus over here, where it's closest to the horizon. The tighter the bank, the faster you'll go down. More bank, more bank, more bank, more bank, more bank, less pitch. Pit pull back a little bit, but more bank, like, uh, sort of corkscrew it up. See your VSI, there it is, good. There's your sight picture, that's it, established, perfect. Feel that? And that's the fastest you could get an aer this airplane to come yep. out of the sky. Well, I mean, safely. Yep. Good. When we come around back again to Altamont Pass, you can recover from this. Should be about 2,000 feet or so. Fire traffic on there you go, and that's the way to Livermore. On runway 30, uh, we'll be doing a ride down with departure. Fire traffic. Now it's really important that you stay oriented here and that you don't lose situational awareness. Also, you'll have to perform a checklist on the way down. Remember to start the maneuver with clearing turns and make sure that there are no terrain or obstacles below you that would make this unsafe. Plus, I know at least one examiner that does a simulated engine failure right at the bottom of this emergency descent, which is fairly realistic if you think about it. If you have a cabin fire, not only do you need to do the things we've discussed in this video, but on the way down, you need to shut off the electrical system, secure the motor, discharge a fire extinguisher, open the doors, and execute a forced landing at the bottom. If you want to see what that really looks like, watch this little clip from a Flight Chops video where I put Steve straight through the reality ring. Have you ever taken the fire extinguisher out? Of the thing? No. Yeah, try it. It's not the easiest thing in the world. I don't know how I would do it. Well. So, bottom line, you should probably practice that more than just check to make sure it's green. Exactly, right? That's what I was thinking. It's like it was a long time in my flying before I actually pulled one of these out. Grease bank. Engine's down to nothing. Good. Now you'd don a smoke hood if there was smoke in the yeah. cockpit, right? That's about the right pitch. Let the speed catch up. I want to go 120? Yeah, but just let it catch up. That's about the right pitch. I'm not going to do anything to distract myself until I know that's stable. Good. Look at your VSI. Well, it's pegged. Yeah, that's cool. Good. Okay, so this is stable speed. We're doing a pretty ridiculous descent. That's cool. So we're going to click these two thingies. Get that out. 
Okay, so I have the fire extinguisher out, and I would pull this pin. I Actually, I can't do it with one hand, so that's interesting. <laughs> You'd ask me, right? like, To see that full video where we do an entire flight review and a lot of emergency procedures, check out the Flight Chops channel. The emergency descent is not only a relatively new addition to the private pilot ACS, but it's also an important skill to have when it comes to safety. So no matter how long you've been flying or how proficient you think you are, it's a good idea to get out and practice this skill. My thanks to Paul, as always, for letting me publish his training to YouTube. My thanks to the sponsors. And my thanks to everybody that's come to Patreon and pledged their support. If you're interested in longer lessons, kind of a relatively unedited version of my flights with Paul or anybody else, you can come to patreon.com slash learn TFP to get that bonus. Please hit subscribe and the bell to get alerted of uploads and share the video with your friends and uh, comment below. I love hearing from you. Also, if you're on Instagram, come and find me at LearnTFP. I'm having a lot of fun posting daily stories and beauty shots from uh, all the flights I'm doing throughout the week. I'm Jason Miller, and until next time, be safe, fly your best. <laughs>